Hello, welcome. We've got a linear function and a circle, and we're graphing both and uh, or solving algebraically and finding uh, what we know about the solutions of the system. In other words, when does this circle and line meet each other? So try the problem out and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so let's solve it algebraically first and then we'll solve it graphically as well. Um, so one thing I might do is I might rewrite my first equation by adding y on both sides and then subtracting 4 on both sides and I get this. So I added y over here and subtracted 4 over there. Uh, essentially moving those around, did it on both sides, and they moved. So now I can plug that in here. I can substitute it. So I'm going to get x plus 3 squared plus 2x minus 4 squared equals 8. So now I'm going to square x plus 3, so it's x squared plus 6x plus 9. Plus, I'm going to square this thing 2x times itself is 4x squared. And then I'm going to have 2x times negative 4 twice, so it's negative 8x, and another negative 8x is negative 16x plus 16. Oops, because negative 4 times negative 4 is 16, so negative 16x plus 16 equals 8. And then I'm going to simplify this. 4x squared plus x squared is 5x squared. And then 6x minus 16 is negative 10x plus 9 plus 16 is plus 25 equals 8 and I'll subtract 8 from both sides so 5x squared minus 10x plus 17 equals 0. Now here I can complete the square or use the quadratic formula but I want to solve this system. I want to know um, about the solutions here so it's negative, we'll use the quadratic formula b is negative 10 so remember the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So in our case that would be the opposite of negative 10, 10, plus or minus b squared 100 minus 4 times 5 times 17, 4ac over 2a. Now we don't have to go any further here because what we're really concerned about is this piece which is called the discriminant, right? Discriminant. We're taking the square root of this number. So if this number is 0, there's only one solution, okay? If it is greater than 0, there are two rational or irrational solutions, depending on if it's a perfect square or not. So if it's a positive perfect square, there's two rational solutions. But if it is a positive imperfect square, and we take the square root of it, uh, it's an irrational number, and so are answers, plus or minus some irrational number. If it's negative, we try to take the square root of a negative number, and what does that mean? That means that it's undefined as a real number. And this is negative because 4 times 5 is 20 times 17 is definitely over 100. So the, in our case, 100 minus 4 times 5 times 17, that's less than 0. And we know that our solutions are then imaginary, right? They're, they're not defined as real numbers, and the answer is choice 1. Now, if you want to graph this, this means they should not intersect. In order to graph it, we have to write both functions in terms of y equals. Now we already did that for the first one. We said y equals 2x minus 4, so I'm going to write 2x minus 4. Now to graph a circle, um, we've got to isolate y. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to subtract x plus 3 squared, so y squared equals, subtract this term, so it's negative x plus 3 squared plus 8. Take the square root of both sides and y equals the positive or negative square root of this whole thing. Negative x plus 3 squared plus 8. Now, we can't graph the positive and negative of this at the same time. We have to graph them, se graph them separately on the calculator. So I'm going to first graph second square root, there it is, of negative x plus 3 squared plus 8. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to include the negative root this time. It's assumed that this is a positive. Second square root of negative x plus 3 squared plus 8. Now here, uh, before I even try to graph it, I don't know where these things are. I'm going to press the zoom button, and I might choose zoom standard, but I'm going to go to zoom uh, fit. 
This should fit the functions. I just want to see what kind of picture that gives us. It's choice zero for future reference. Hit enter. Now we should see a circle and a line. There's my line and a circle and a line that uh, don't meet anywhere in the real plane. Now here, okay, I've got a really distorted circle, but you see the circle's over here and my line's over here. They're not going to meet. So I'm going to zoom standard and see if it gives me a better zoom six is my line. Okay, there's the circle. So here the scale, if the scale is not one to one in both directions, your circle will be distorted. And I don't know here, actually I don't know how to get the circle to not be distorted. There's my delta x. Hmm, it's going up by 0.2. What's my delta y? I don't know. So maybe this is 1, see what happens. Hit graph. Well, I don't know how to fix this circle. I will look that up though. Uh, but the point is here, we go to zoom 6. We've got a line and a circle that don't meet. Now, you could have you can also figure that out without looking here. Um, and, and the way you might do that, this circle has a center at negative 3, 0. And the radius is the square root of 8. So it's 2 root 2. So just a rough sketch of this thing, right here is 1, 2, 3. Here's my center. And my radius is 2 root 2, the square root of this, which is about 2 times 1.4. It's about really close to 2, one, two times 1 and a half, or 3. So it's a little bit less than 3, right? Because 2 times 1 and a half is bigger than 2 times the square root of 2. So it's about it's one, sorry, one, two, three this way. So it's kind of here, right? The radius or circles here. That's how we graph a circle. This line, though, if you think about it intuitively, starts up at negative four. One, two, three, four. It has a slope of two, up two over one, up two over one. You can see they're never going across each other. In other words, there's no solution to the system, no point that's a part of the circle and the line. All right, hope that helps.